안녕하십니까 니콜라스입니다 And today we are going to make a trading bot using Python The reason why is because everybody around me seems to be doing trading Now the strategy to make money with this bot is very very simple but it's very smart Check it out We are going to buy Bitcoin when it's cheap and we're going to sell Bitcoin when it's expensive I know Amazing strategy <laughs> Now, to try to guess if Bitcoin is cheap and it might become expensive, later we're going to use something called an indicator. An indicator, for example, is when you are on the park and you see that there are clouds coming in, dark clouds coming in. That might be an indicator that is going to rain soon. It's the same thing with the market, with the stock market, with trading. We're going to use the most simple indicator and we're going to hope that hopefully we can make at least one cent or at least one dollar of profit with this indicator all right so i already have the code that makes a graph so i can show you the indicator this graph shows you the price of bitcoin per hour for the last 1000 hours plus the simple moving average simple moving average is the name of the indicator we're going to use and it's basically the average price so in this case as you can see right here it went up and then right here it went down. So the price is always dancing with the simple moving average. If the price crosses the simple moving average going up, that might mean that the market is going on an upward direction. If the price crosses moving average down, that might mean that the market is going on a downward direction. And in these sorts of, it's true. As you can see here, here it crossed up and it sort of went up. And then when it crossed down, it kept going down. So this can show us a little bit of a trend that could form. The strategy is going to be that when we see this happening, like this, for example, right here, when we see this happening, we are going to buy. So let me show you with arrows and stuff when we would buy and when we would be selling. Okay, and this is how it looks like. This is when I put the arrows of buying and selling. Here we would have bought and then we could have sold. That is a little bit of money. That would mean like two cents of money, but it would be good. Again here, buying and selling. As you can see, the price crossed, we kept going up, and then the moment we saw red, boom, we sold. So this thing actually might work. We might make $1 at least. Hopefully I will make $1 from this. Okay, here we lost money. <laughs> so now that we know and we visualized how it would work, I am going to add some nice print statements and do the calculation of how much money we would have made, okay? Because again, always test this thing with historical data, all right? I think I have good news. Using the last 1,000 hours, okay? If we were playing with $1,000, so for example here, as you can see, we would have bought at, 19, uh, at 596 and we sold at seven. That was a $10 profit, boom! Okay, next one, that was an $18 profit, awesome. Then we lost $10 <laughs> already. Hey, look, oh my God, there was a trade. We bought at 416, we sold at 631, sweet. At the end, we did so many trades, they, oh, look at this. We made $33, if we run this bot, from August 30 of 2020 until October 8th, that is today, we would have made $33. I know what you might be thinking, that if we run the bot from August 30 to almost October, just making $33 is a really shit return. You are right, it is a very bad return, but still, that is money that in theory we didn't have and in theory we made. Like I said, this is historical data, so we need to test this for real. I already have the logic of finding the simple moving average. I already have the logic of when to buy, when to sell. Now I just need to connect with the Binance API. Shouldn't take long and we can finally test this bot. So I'm going to put $1,000 on my Binance account and we're going to be playing around with $1,000. The thing is though that we don't have the time to test the bot for such a long period of time. Well, I'm going to test this by the minute. Okay, so we'll see how that's different, but we need testing, we need it today, and I want to see if I can make some money. Sorry, not money, cents. I wanna make cents. If I make cents, I'll be happy. So, like I said, I already have $500 in, so now what I have to do is buy $500 more of USDT, and uh, you will see. Look, $500, that is roughly 495 USDT, and uh, here we go, let's buy. 
Okay, confirm the order. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, look at this. Purchase completed. <laughs> I just spent $500 for a fucking video. That's my wallet right there. Uh, look, this is very important. We have nine, $9.65. So it's almost a almost $1,000, a little bit less. So it's true. We have this. So now, let's get started. So I'm done with the code. I just removed all the chart code and I just added the Binance code, okay? Now Binance has a sweet API, so we just connect to it. But basically we're going to buy and we're going to sell when some conditions happen. Let's just start this thing and see the state of our money. Let's go, I believe in my code. I believe on everything that I said. Let's test this and see how much cents we make. All right, so I killed the bot. I wanna show you on my dashboard on Binance what happened, okay? So, we bought at 96 and we sold at 91. So we lost money there. We buy at 69, sell at 70, buy 71, sell 69, lost money, buy 68, sell 68, lost money, buy 69, sell 70, good, buy 70, sell 71. So it looks like we made some money, but actually we lost money overall. No! Even when we bought in a cheap price and we sold on an expensive price, we lost money. The reason why we lost money is actually because of the commissions and the fees of the exchange. For example here, I bought at 570 and I sold at 571. That means I should have made money, but actually because of the exchange, as you can see here, I actually lost eight cents. So that sucks. Now, how to fix this? The historical data that I showed you that made like $30 as a profit, that was for every 30 minute period, not one minute period, 30 minutes. The problem with minutes is that they are so small that it never changes. It's like this, look, the price is like this. We need something like this to make the money. And this doesn't happen all the time, every day. We need to wait for a longer time. So maybe if I run this thing for at least a month, We'll see if it works also with 30 minute periods instead of one minute periods. Now, another thing is that I believe every time I send an order to the exchange, the price changes so quickly that my order arrives to the exchange and maybe while it takes time to fulfill, then the price changes. So that's another problem. And maybe instead of using Python and the REST API, I use something like Go and WebSocket, so even faster, we'll see. But so far, we didn't make any money. Now, I'm happy because the strategy works and we could test it and that's the whole point. We tested it and I feel good. We bought at cheap price and we sold at an expensive price. It's amazing to be a programmer, in my opinion. It's because of this that I love being a programmer. That's it for this video. Let me know on the comments if you feel like you want to see more of this content. Should I work more on this bot until I can buy myself a nice apathe or should I invest my money somewhere else? I don't know, we'll see. Let me know in the comments. Maybe this is the beginning of a series of optimizing the bot and whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to be happy today. Take care of yourself. Eat kimchi, tam samida, bye bye.